Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to use a, a light sensor with Arduino Mega. So here I am using my Seed Studio light sensor. So the signal uh, from the light sensor is given to A0 analog pin of Arduino Mega. And I also connected a LED to the Arduino Mega. And if you are not using the sensor, you can also use a LDR uh, connected with the resistor here and you can uh, connect one end of your LDR to the analog any input pin of Arduino Mega. Let's see how to program for this setup. Go to open Simulink library. So before that we'll check the connection. So here my LDR that I have connected to the A0 pin of Arduino Mega and I also connected my LED to the third pin of Arduino Mega. So I'm gonna program for this. I'm gonna open so I'm gonna save this new model as uh, LDR LDR save Simlink support package for Arduino hardware good common and pick a uh, analog input so I'm gonna connect a uh, sync uh, scope to this Connect the scope. So I'm going to prepare to run this. And if there is, uh, it is not enabled here. Just click on enable hardware specification. Go on and check Arduino Omega two five six zero. Okay. I'm going to run this program on my hardware enough change this to external mode I'm going to open my cam here I'm going to run this now and after connecting the scope I'm also going to add a, a display this will be uh, useful for knowing the exact data that we are receiving from the LDR so once after completing this I'm going to open my Arduino gonna check which pump port it has connected so here you can see that it has connected to the COM port 12 or you can also go to your system manager and check uh, which COM port your Arduino has connected I'm going to library and go and click options and it's already it's not connected to uh, it says Arduino Mega I have chosen I need to choose Arduino 2560 going to click OK and I have connected my analog input to the pin 0 so I need to change that 0 and the sample time to 0 0.01 going to click OK and I'm going to run this program So it has connected to uh, Arduino Mega and here you can see the display data here and the light intensity in this room is now uh, reading as 517 to 520 I'm going to close this so I've closed it completely and I'm going to light up the LDR using an external light. So here you can see this one. So it's reading 763 something. So if I remove this light, the reading has comes down below 400, 450. 
So I'm gonna stop this program. So after uh, getting leading from the LDR, now we'll uh, do some uh, automatic light controller with this function. Uh, for this, uh, I'm going to add a conditional operator. So I'm going to library browser, uh, browse for an operator and search it. I got a relational operator here. So I'm going to connect this and uh, I need another constant. So I'm going to pick a constant from sources, pick a constant. I'm going to connect it to this and constant is 500. Click OK. And I have connected my LED to the third pin of Arduino Omega. So I'm going to common uh, digital output. The output of the relational operator is going to be connected to this here. And I'm going to run this program now. So let's see how it works. So here you can see that it's working now. So I'm going to light the LED. Sorry that I have I should change this input as three here. So that's the reason it's not the LED has not turned on. I'm going to run this program again because that I have connected my LED pin to the third pin of Arduino. I'm going to run this again. So here you can see that the light has turned on and the value is less than 500. So the constant value is here you can see the display here. The value is not uh, beyond 500. So the LED has turned on. If I increase the light intensity so here you can see whenever the light intensity is going up the LED is turned off and now it's turned on see here it is turned off here turned on turned so once I've st I stopped the program here I'm going to permanently upload this program to my Arduino so here it has programmed now I'm going to check it so here it has we have done a automatic light controller and the program is running standalone on the Arduino board so it is not uh, there is no connection between our simulink uh, to our Arduino so the board is running on our Arduino hardware you can see here So that's it for this tutorial.